Today's morning devotional. The ideal for all humanity. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature, and in favor with God and man. Luke chapter 2 verse 52. Christ lived the life of a toiler from his earliest years. In his youth he worked with his father at the carpenter's trade, and thus honored all labor. Though he was the king of glory, yet by his practice of following a humble employment he rebuked idleness in every member of the human family, and dignified all labor as noble and Christ-like. From childhood he was a pattern of obedience and industry. He was as a pleasant sunbeam in the home circle. Though his wisdom had astonished the doctors, yet he meekly subjected himself to his human guardians. The knowledge he was daily obtaining of his wonderful mission did not disqualify him for performing the most humble duties. He cheerfully took up the work that devolves upon youth who dwell in humble households pressed by poverty. He understood the temptations of children, for he bore their sorrows and trials. Firm and steadfast was his purpose to do the right. Though enticed to evil, he refused to depart in a single instance from the strictest truth and rectitude. Christ is the ideal for all humanity. He has left a perfect example for childhood, youth, and manhood. He came to this earth, and passed through the different phases of human life. He talked and acted like other children and youth, except that he did no wrong. Sin found no place in his life. Ever he lived in an atmosphere of heavenly purity. In the sanctuary of the home, Jesus received his education, not merely from his parents, but from his heavenly Father. As he grew older, God opened to him more and more of the great work before him. But notwithstanding his knowledge of this, he assumed no airs of superiority. Never did he by disrespect cause his parents pain or anxiety. He delighted to honor and obey them. Although he was not ignorant of his great mission, he consulted their wishes, and submitted to their authority.